everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really fun star card and I've got a guest crafter with me today and I've got my Nan. Say hello Nan. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so you probably will see a photo of me and Nan at the beginning of this video but she is visiting at the moment and we thought how fun would it be to do some crafting together. And you like making cards don't you? I do. <laughs> You liar. <laughs> she just hit me then. She doesn't make cards. But you have knitted, haven't you? What other crafts have you done? Cro no, was it crochet? No, I've only done knitting. Knitting. Okay, knitting. Yeah. What else did you like when you were a little girl? Did you do much crafting and things as a young girl? I like to paint, you know, paint in, on books. Oh, okay. In books, painting. Yeah. Um, I used to like to make, I used to like to cook a little bit. Yeah, cooking. As well. That's yeah. always good. Yeah. And, um, I love me little animals. I had. Yeah, okay. What animals did you have? We had um, we had a guinea pig for a while. We've had rabbits. Oh, okay. And we've had a couple of chickens. <laughs> yes. I never knew that about you. Yes. I genuinely never knew you had chickens. But rabbits. Yeah, little and the chickens that had laid eggs and they had little chicks. Oh, and that's sweet. And that was so sweet. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're going to make this star card. And the inspiration for this has actually come from the latest issue of Papercraft Essentials magazine. It's issue 174, and it's actually the card that's featured on the front here. Now, Nikki Gilbert, she done some of the designs using the collection. And for those of you that have this magazine, you will already have seen and know what I'm talking about. But she does some great inspiration with the free gift and this is the one here I thought we would recreate. I have changed it slightly. Um, I've loosely followed these but um, I've just put it together slightly differently and I just thought it would be a great one to actually make with Nan because it's quite simple to make but I think the results, I think you'll agree Nan, the card looks really really good mm. and I like the way it stands. It's clever. Oh. That is really lovely. It's good, isn't it? Oh, that is. So it is. actually stands on these two points here, and when you open up the card, that... it's just a normal six by six yeah. card base. It's clever. That is so nice. So that is what we're going to make. Okay, so for anybody that hasn't seen, all of the freebies that you get in the magazine, you get all these pieces that are die cuts, so they're all there, you just need to pop them out. Nan is going to make a card today with Paella Bakewell. She's one of the characters in Wallace and Gromit. And I'm going to do one with Wallace um, on the front, I believe it is. I've got it already anyway. But some of the other ones that you get here as well, we've got that one that popped out. That's a really nice one of the two of them running. They do lovely gift tags. See, so these are nice, Nan. You can just put yeah, the ribbon through them. Oh, they are. They're really good. And then all the papers as well, which I'll show you throughout the video. Okay, Nan, so I've prepared all of yours. We're going to make exactly the same, but you're using Paella Bakewell, but you might want to change that. I'll show you some other maybe choices that you might want to use no, well, when like we get her. to it. But I thought you like pink. And oh, then no, I like her. Maybe, I yes. <laughs> maybe you can give this to one of your friends as a birthday card. I think it'd be a nice one for you to use. And I'm going to do this one here using, yeah, it's got right. Wallace on the front. Enjoy your day. Okay, so I've got my scoreboard here, but you want to start off with a six by six card blank. So this is just one that's pre-bought from the store. Or alternatively, if you don't have a six by six card blank, you just want a piece of 12 inch card stock cut to six and then score along the 12 inch side at six inches and fold it in half. Now everybody that's watching Nan will know exactly what I mean there, so don't worry if you're sat there now thinking, <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. That's what you need. So that's our card blank. So your card blank, Nan, is this one here. Right. Okay, so you've got exactly the same as me. And there it is there. And there's the fold on the left-hand side, all right? So just keep that one to one side. I'm just going to tell everybody what they need for the minute. So next you want some coloured cardstock to mat on top of your card blank. So this piece here measures um, five and three quarters by five and three quarters, okay? So I've got red, and Nan, you have this lovely pink colour. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I yes. thought you would. Then we've got this piece of cardstock, which is going to start to create one of the kind of star parts of the card. And this is... Um, at this one right here so this is the same size as the card blank I just basically cut down one so although saying that I've got this at five and three quarters by five and three quarters you can have it six by six if you want it's not really going to make too much of a difference but that is going to go over the top like that and there you go Nan there's your one that's going to go like this 
and we'll stick them all together. Then I've got this pattern paper from the freebie and this is five and a half by five and a half and that is going to stick over the top like this. And now you've got this nice wallpaper style from the pack. Oh, that's lovely. So it all ties together nicely. All right. Mm. Then you want another white piece of cardstock, and this one here is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And that one, you guessed it, is going to go something like so that. Clever. Here we go. It kind of works out. And that's your one there. So again, once they're all down, we know where we'll be sticking them. And then again, I've got, this is probably one of my favourites from the free papers. I really like that one. And it says Wallace Inventing for Britain. And this is five by five. And that one is going to go over the top. You should have a nice little border around mm, each one. Mm. And then you've got that pretty one, which is all part of the same. Oh, that's nice. So it all matches really well. All right. And then this one here is for kind of the topper. And this is three and a half by three and a half. And that is going to go in the middle. And there is your one there, something like that. And then I've got the same um, coloured card that I used here just to keep everything together. And this is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And that one is going to go on there. And then there's your piece, which is going to go there. All right. And then it's just choosing your topper. So like I said, I've got that one. We're going to use some little embellishments. And then Nan, I really like her. She's really cute. She's going to be however you want to Kind of have her. I'm thinking Lisa's birthday. Lisa's birthday, that would be a good one, wouldn't it? Yeah, a special card, but I must. I'd like to this is a that. special card. Well, you no. don't shop right. You don't shop by when you <laughs> don't. I don't like to hear that word. I'm oh, sorry. No, not let's say shop brought. We we make cards here, yeah, Nan. Sorry, I, hope, <laughs> I, I hope you're going to delete that. <laughs> Okay, so what we want to do first of all, now I've got a, a few different glues to stick all this down, but what we want to start off with is pop that one all up there and we're going to stick this onto this card blank. Okay, all right. All right. so that's the way the card opens and we're going to stick that and you see you've got a nice even mm. little border. That's what yep. we want to try and achieve when we stick it down right. All right. and mine's going to be stuck here. Now what you might find will help is this cool little gadget. Now this is by Taser and it's really, really good. And basically what you do, turn this over, well, it's the same side, but you just stamp it and can you see that little square of glue? Oh, yeah. And that's it. So you give that a go and just stamp just stamp it all over there. Try and maybe do like one in each corner first. So you use the square as kind of a guide. Just push it down and lift. Yep, there you go. Yep, and then do one in this corner. And it's basically glue. It's just you gluing. So you just want to make sure and just kind of cover that square. That is so clever. It's good, isn't it? Do you want to do a couple there? Just on that side. And I'll stick this one down. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly stick this one and then I'll give you a hand with yours. So if you want to line that up, maybe what you what I find easy is if you start with the top, mm -hmm. kind of keep this lifted up, get your tops all in place and then you can kind of stick everything else down. So lean over if you need to if you find it a bit easier. But that looks about right. In my eyes so it's not very good. So. That's pretty good Nan. Perfect. That... Yep, yeah, stick that one down. Oh lovely. And then if you want to make sure that you've really stuck it down, if you flip it over, turn the whole card over, and then we've got these here. Yeah, that's fine. Just turn it over. There you go. And then use this, and you just rub over that, and it just makes sure everything. So when you go and stick all the other ones down, go if you on. do that, yeah. all right, and it just makes sure that you get yeah. everything stuck down. So we'll keep that one there, and you can use that one. So we turn it back over again. Okay. So next now we want to stick down this big white one okay so there's your one that's your one there right. so what this is when we need to start creating so this white one here is this one here mm. so you can see when it stands oh, we want to make sure so it's actually yeah. going to be one of the stands for the card so if you turn your card kind of like that and then this one you want to pop like that Yep, that's about right. We'll move it again in a minute. And what you want to look at is you want this here yeah, yeah. to be kind of straight, if that makes sense, because that is where this is going to be the stand here. So I mm -hmm. think that looks about right. Mm -hmm. We can, like I said, when we come to see, you want to make sure all your triangles are equal, or oh. as, as equal as you can get them, really. All right. So again, an easy way to do this is if you now carefully flip the whole thing over and with a pencil, just do a little marker on the edges 
if you hold in the middle there, hold that in place. You just want to do a little marker on there. I'm going to do it on this one because you won't see any of this. That's it. And it just then will tell you. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise you did that one. You just want to do kind of a little line like that, all right? And basically now you can take this off. Okay, so take that top one off. And within this area, so for you, you just want to come down a little bit. It's for where we can put our glue. Oh, right. Because right. we don't want to obviously have glue no, in these no, triangles no. here. So again, if you grab your little glue thing there, and for you, you just want to just whack some glue squares amongst that area there. Just there. Anywhere, just a few, because you want to stick that down. So just stamp it around a little bit. And I'm just going to add glue all in this area here. Yeah, do you want me to do a few more? Because I don't, it's not easy to see these. Do one there, there. But it's so quick, isn't it? Really and handy. And, oh, you and you've got get, quite a lot on there. Don't get messy fingers as nope. well. It is good. Okay, so then you want to grab this again. Now you want to stick that down. So right. you want to make sure you've got all your points. I'm going to grab my one. If you want to watch me do mine first, and then you yeah. can do... So you want to make sure that you've got your card opening up. So you've got your fold on mm -hmm. the left-hand side. You want to have it slightly tilted down like this and then you're going to have this perfectly sitting over it so you've got equal triangles in all four corners. So you just want to make sure you've got an equal kind of overhang and these triangles are all the same as well. All right, so oh. there's your, yeah, so you've got that square and now you want to make sure that one of these points is coming off each of these sides. Right. All right, so move it up a little bit more. And then maybe come across this way a little bit. I think that's about right. Sure. Yeah, if you look along the bottom here, remember that's going to be oh, our yeah, stand. Yeah. yeah, I think that's fine now. Go for it. And then flip the whole thing over again. Okay, turn it all over. And then use that to just flatten all of the back. Remember, you don't want to pencil. Don't use it like a pencil, use it like that. Oh, right. So it's almost like a, um, a bit like a spatula, I guess, something like that. Like you, you just want to use it. It's just to help that glue stick. Yeah. So just where you put the glue, really. Oh, right. Yeah, you just want to help it stick down, OK? And then what you need to do is rub those out because you um, you're going to see them a bit more. So just rub those pencil marks out that you made earlier. They're really just a guide for you to be able to... Right there's one there. there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're just a guide for us to know where really to put our glue. OK, so that's all rubbed out. Do you want to turn it back over now, right. Nan? OK. And now you should be able to open your card up because you've got your, obviously, card underneath. That's it. And then stand it up. Mm, look at that. Clever, isn't it? And then yours will go like oh, that. So that will, yeah. corner of the back yeah. acts as a stand. It's a bit like an easel, but there you yeah, go. Yeah, yes. Look at that. Yeah. See? How easy is that? Brilliant. So now we need to start adding all the fun decorations. So you've got this piece here. So now you want to stick your next mat onto that square and you just want to make sure that you've got that nice even Using border. That again. Yeah, use your glue again. So if you want to stick everything on the back of that, and I'm going to use this one here. There we go. Again, and then turn it over and just push it all down. Or you can use that again if you want to. You can sometimes you can put them literally like that and you kind of yeah. just yeah. push it. It's just a, a handy tool, that's all. It's more if you're using kind of wet glue yeah. and stuff, but it does help. And then flip it over again. Okay, so now we're working as if the card is now like that, because that is the right way up. Mm. Okay, so like me there, that is how the card yeah. is going to stand. These are our feet. Okay, so that, that's our kind of, yeah, making sure it's up the right way. So then we've got this, these two here. So there's your two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so good. Okay. So now you want to stick this one on top of this. So if you do it separate, we'll put the cards now to one side and All just right. work on these two. So if you pop your glue on this one here. And now if you bring down your card, so this one here. Okay, so again, there's the bottom. So we want to stick this now on here so that each of these corners are in between these corners. And that's oh, how it will create right. that star. So look, yeah. if you see, if I line mine down there, yeah. can you see I've got like a little corner coming out in between? Move it down a little bit like that. So yours, you would want to remember that's the bottom. So if you lay it down, so you've got the wallpaper facing up the right way. So we have it about there, I reckon. Because remember, this is the bottom, Yeah, yeah. so that's facing you yeah. now. I think that looks about right there, yeah. okay? So what we do for these ones, because now what we want to do is add a little bit of dimension. It's nice to lift things up. So these are some foam sticky squares. 
So they're sticky on one side, but they're foam, so it gives things a little bit of height. Yeah. So on the back, I'll stick one down for you, and then you'll know what to do with the rest. But if you want to now peel another one off, you can see it there, and just stick one in each corner. Okay, you don't want to stick them in the corner, you want to stick them in a bit, because the corners are going to be sticking out, and it would be right. sticky otherwise, right. wouldn't it? So just, I'm going to stick one there for you. If you want to stick the other one maybe there, you just need a couple. And I'm going to do the same with mine, so I'm going to stick one there and one there. That's it, push them down, make sure they're all nice and, and secure. And then there's a t uh, backing on the top, so if you just peel it off, oh, right. there should be a little lip that it helps you peel it off. All right, Lovely. now I'll take that. Okay, so let me do mine first and you yep. can see how I do it. So again, I'm going to have mine, make sure that you've got your card opens like so and then these bottom pieces are facing down like this because that is the base mm. and then I'm going to have mine just make sure each corner is overhanging evenly and I'm going to stick that down like so. So again turn your one over, hold your, make sure you've got your wallpaper up the right way which is that way. Mm. So we've got your base already there. We now need to add this little square here. So again, push your card to one side and you want to add some of your adhesive here yeah. onto the back of that one. And I'm going to do the same with my red one here. And then you're going to stick it on the white one like I have. So turn that one over because that's got your sticky on and you want to stick that in the middle of that one there. Okay, and then this one is going to stick in the middle like this one here. So we're going to stick it down. It's this one here that we're using. So bring your card down again and you just want to stick it, I'd say maybe like that, but we're going to add some of these foam squares again. So you just want to add, turn that one over and just add one of these sticky squares onto the back. Just stick it in the middle anywhere, like so. That's it. Make sure it's pushed right down. And then peel off the backing. God, don't tell me I'm doing it, am I? No, you're peeling the whole thing off. Oh, Here's the backing. <laughs> oh, I'd be hopeless at this. There we go. <laughs> and then this one, I'm going to stick, again, remember, always remember your bottom part oh, yeah, here. Yeah. Bring mine over here a little bit so people can see. So you want this one to be, again, on another angle. I'm going to keep this one so it's the same orientation as this one here. Right. So if you look, if I lay that like that, it's in exactly the same mm -hmm. position as that one. Yeah. So I'm going to stick that one just down. Okay, so now we're going to add all of our nice little bits of decoration. So, now, I did say you could obviously choose, but you seem to really like her. But I do, I do like her. There are some more of her. So, you've got that one. You've also got her poodle. So, there's the other one of her. You've got these poodle ones. And you've also got a birthday cake. So, you could have a birthday cake on there as well. And there's one of her holding the rolling pin, but she looks really cross. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a choice there oh. of what one you'd like oh, to I do. Like, I think I'll have her. I like the dogs as well. Okay, so Nan she has decided it. that she wants to do all of this together because you're going to give this to my daughter. Yeah, so my auntie Lisa, she's going to give this to, um, and she loves to cook. So we're going to have the one with. Yeah. Um, Paella Bakewell there holding a rolling pin and they've also got a dog, yeah. Buddy, so although Buddy doesn't look anything like a poodle, no, it's no. still a dog and then yeah. the birthday cake, but I think that looks really nice. Oh, so we're going to stick all that down in a moment. I'm going to quickly stick my one down and just finish the decoration and then I'm going to help Nan and we'll kind of put that bit on high speed. So I'm just going to, every time you go to stick something down, always open your card to make sure right. that you know that you're getting everything kind yeah. of, you know, lined up. So again, I'm going to stick him in there, and again, you can see now when that stands up, that's the profile that people so see when they look at that. Well. It's cool, isn't it? I really oh, like him. Is. And then what I'm also going to do here is I punched using some mirrored cardstock, just this little scrap piece here, and just using this circle punch, I just punched out four circles. So one, two, three, four, and we'll add some of these onto yours as well, Nan, if you want, and then. So with those four there, they were just nice because they complement the silver that's oh, around definite, the picture. Definitely. So I just put one in each corner, like so. And then on top of that, do you think they look nice? Oh, I think so. And then yes. I've got these lovely, <coughs> um, just kind of pearl little stick um, embellishments that are going to go in the middle. And that's what I've put on there. So if you can just see all the dimension. Can you feel those there, Nan? 
They're like little pearl. Yeah, beautiful. Nice, aren't they? So we can add them to yours as well. We can add some real glittery ones actually. We'll pop them on in a moment. Or we could use these hearts. Do you like these silver hearts? Yes, Lisa likes hearts. Right, so we're going to use these silver hearts. So I'm going to finish off sticking these down and we're going to stick these embellishments on mine and I'm going to help Nan stick all of hers together. Okay, so we have, are we happy with the fronts of our cards? I am, very much so. What do you like the most about it? I like it all, these, I like it all, Samantha, honestly. It's really pretty now. There's nothing, oh, don't, oh, I think, oh, I wish I had done that all, put that on. It's perfect, absolutely. I think you've done it. Not because I've done it, well, you've done it. <laughs> You've, you've done it. All I've done was cut everything. You've, you've stuck it down and you've decided where you want it yeah, to go and no, everything. It's so Absolutely. I think it looks great. Okay, so next we need to do these pieces for the inside. So again, this is optional if you're using a white card blank. Some people will just want to stamp yeah, something and write yeah. in that. You don't have to. But I thought it would be nice just yeah. to kind of continue this inside. So I've got this piece here which I think I might just trim down just a little bit just to show a bit more of a white border. So currently I've got this at, yeah, see I'm going to go to five and a, five and a half um, and I'll trim yours in a moment for you Nan before we stick it, actually I'll do it here while I've got it. Okay, so first of all we're going to stick that in, yeah that's better, it's got a bit more of a white, white border there. So I'm going to use the glue for my one here, so I'll just quickly stick mine down. Okay, we're going to stamp on this one in a moment. So Nan, if you want to grab your piece there, and again there's your glue bit there, I'm going to get this ready to stamp. Grab this one here, open that one up, and you're going to stick that in that square there. Again, just making sure... It's okay. Again, just no, move that. No, it's fine. It's okay. Right. Uh, I think so. There. You happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So that's the inside done. So now we want to do a little bit of stamping. Now, one of the great things also is you get this lovely stamp set. Let me find it, Nan. So this is also free in the magazine, and these are stamps that match the papers and all the die cuts. Mm. Isn't it lovely? Can you see Absolutely. them? Are they coming out? Let me see if I can... I just put it on that white background. There you go. You can really see yeah. the images. So you've got Wallace and Gromit there with the spoon and the rolling pin and they've got their chef's hats on. You've got Gromit. He's sat there on the sofa knitting and there's his knitting bag and his wool. There's the two of them running. There's Gromit making something. Gromit in his dog hut, his little, you know, dog kennel, yeah. home, whatever yeah. you want to call it. That's Gromit pouring some tea. And then there's Wallace and Gromit again saying hello. Mm. So you've got happy birthday, nice, cheesy, have a grand cracking day. And they're all separate stamps so you can change obviously what way you want to have it. And then this here says genuine W and G, which is obviously Wallace and Gromit. And you've got the teapot and also we've got some cheese there on a cheese board. Mm. Lovely, aren't they? Mm. Beautiful. So I'm going to use this happy birthday yeah. for the inside of mine. Do you want to have that same happy birthday yeah, as well? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'd like that. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to stamp mine in the same kind of blue that I used for the card before. So this here, do you know what this is, Nan? This device? No. Ever seen anything like this before? No. This is called a stamp positioner. They all have their own like kind of brand names but basically it's a stamp positioner and what you can do is you pop in the piece of cardstock that you you want to stamp on I always put mine right up into the corner yeah. there and these are magnets this is magnetic so these magnets hold it in place and then you can lie your stamp down so I'm going to pop that in the middle there okay and then you bring over this clear perspex push it down it will pick that stamp up because now 
when I go to add my ink and stamp it I'll get a perfect impression and if I don't on the initial stamp I can reapply ink and go back in again because before these came around it was so hard if you were to stamp something and then miss a bit to be able to line that up again when you re-ink your ink was almost impossible. Do you kind of get? Do you, yeah. I, I can imagine. Isn't so, that clever? Good isn't it? So I'm using this, this is Island Indigo and it's a stamping up old colour. This is the ink here and you just push it down on there Nan. You can see all the colour has gone onto the stamp. Bring it over and then do you want to push that down? Just push on top of this plastic all over that stamp just to kind of push that ink. That's it. Okay, and then we'll lift it up. And can you see it's stamped? Oh, that clever. <laughs> oh, it's perfect, isn't it? Perfect. But you might not be able to see it as maybe clear as I can see, but there's a little bit where it's not quite oh, covered. Oh, I can't see that. But just a little bit. But if you, I ink this again now. That is so clever. And then I ink it again and lay it down and then lift it up. Look how much darker it is now. <gasps> Oh, isn't that good? It's beautiful. <laughs> it is. No, I'm really impressed. Clever, isn't it? I'm enthralled by that. So now Gosh. I'm going to take that one out and I'm just going to set that to one side. Just let that dry a little bit. I've got some more magic to show you. Well, I'll never. So I'm going to just clean this one off and now I'm going to show Nan how to do some heat embossing. Okay, so Nan, we're going to do your one now the same, but because... I don't know, I just don't think maybe the pink, I haven't got a pink that would really match. I think yours will look nice with some silver embossed. All right. All right so yeah. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to lay this down again, so the same happy birthday. We're going to sit that in the middle like so. And we're going to pop that over, pick it up like normal, okay? And then you've got this little thing here. So inside this, I keep this kind of little... It's just a little pillow and inside it's got like a powder. You can use cornstarch, anything like that, and you rub it over your surface and it will remove any greasy marks. It will just kind of clean that off completely. All right, so I'll just keep that all in there. And then we're gonna use this stuff here. So this is Versamark and it is basically a watermark pigment. So we can lay this down on here, just cover it. You won't be able to see any of this. No. It's a very sticky, yeah, it's just a sticky substance really and what it will do is it will leave an impression of the happy birthday You can just see it, it catches the light, I don't know how well, can you see a faint like watermark? No. Okay, it's just there anyway, it is hard to see I'm just going to lay that down again, make sure that's completely covered Okay, pop this all away and now what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle it with some embossing powder. So I'm just going to bring down, this is silver, silver embossing powder, okay. So what we're going to do, sprinkle it and what will happen is this powder will stick to all of that sticky stamped image. But because we laid that powder down on top, it won't stick anywhere else on the paper. So we just sprinkle it over, it's a bit like glitter, you use it the same way that you would use glitter. And then tap off any excess and can you see the happy birthday? Okay, and then we've got to heat set it with a heat gun because it melts and it goes all nice and shiny. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. And now we're going to use this, and this is basically like a hairdryer, but it's even hotter. You don't ever use this on your hair, but it is like a crafting hair hairdryer. <laughs> Turn it on. Make sure it gets really hot first of all. Like so. And now if you watch this carefully, you'll see this turn shiny, okay, where it all melts. So I'm just going to go in. Oh, gosh. Can you see that? Marvellous, isn't it? Yeah, I can. Isn't that oh, lovely? Oh, gosh. How clever is that? Oh. And that's what got me hooked on crafting. That's what Mum showed me. Yeah, Mum showed me this quite a few years ago now. And it was the thing that got me really seriously into doing more oh, yeah no, paper no. craft clever isn't it so now don't you agree that matches really oh, nicely definitely with the card because you've got all that shine yeah. so we'll turn it all over and then i never really touch it straight away because no. it can sometimes still be that little bit but now yeah that's fine do you want to touch that and feel it oh my clever isn't it now because it's a little bit warped can you see the, the paper is yeah, just that yeah. little bit I would find rather than using this here right. I would use a wet glue just oh. a liquid glue so I'm just going to help you with this bit here 
and just cover that because you want this to be completely flat so I just want to make sure I get all the glue everywhere for you. So there's the inside of Nan's card and then there's the front. Do you want to hold that one up and show it closer to the camera so people can see it? So if you just bring it up, just look on the monitor there, that's it, come up a bit more. If you go in that way, come into the, there we go. I think it looks great Nan. And just move it a little bit there for people to see. You see it in the monitor? Mm -hmm. It's good isn't it? Really, really pretty. Lovely. And I'm just going to stick down the inside of my one here because that's dried now I'm as so well. I'm pleased with that. Really am. There's that one. And then I've just stuck mine in there as well. That's a nice colour as well. I nice, like isn't that. it? I like that on the point. Well, I thought that colour worked yeah. well. It's like the same That's a that lovely one. Blue Samantha. one there. No, you've done a gorgeous one as well. So now we've got these three really lovely yes. Wallace and Gromit yeah. cards. Huh. What one's your favourite? You can be biased. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's it's good. No, you it? meant to say your own. No, yeah, mine is. Yeah, <laughs> I'm about it, your oh, two. Wait. I've got to pick one of your two. No, I? and yeah, I don't mind. Beautiful. I love yours. I do. I really like yeah. it. Yeah, I think she'll, it looks lovely. She'll keep that. Oh she yes, will, she will because you've made it. Yeah. And it's the first card. Have you? It's the first card you've ever made. Yes. In all of your years. Yes. I've Apart got, from maybe as a child in school, you well, may have made some. Maybe I've done, but there you go. Well, well done. It's another thing to tick off your bucket list. You've done a few this week. <laughs> okay, everybody. So there are our finished cards. I hope you agree. I think they look really, really nice. It's such a simple card style, yet I think the results and the impact is wonderful, don't you? Yes, I do. So I've loved having my Nan crafting with me. I hope you've enjoyed this video as well. And um, yeah, I think that's it for today, don't you, Nan? Yes, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, well, I'm sure people are going to comment because they always comment when you feature yeah. in my scrapbook layouts, which you love seeing, don't you? Yeah. So um, yeah, Nan loves her card. And we're going to go and have a cup of tea now and a biscuit. I'm going to show my daughter, other daughter. Now. Yeah, she's going to love that. What are we going to have with our um, cup of tea? Should we have a Tunnock's tea cake? Yes, that would be nice. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys. Got envelopes for these. I will, yep. I will share envelopes or envelopes. The directions envelopes. for them, I'll share that in my blog. Thank you for watching, everybody. And I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Yes, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Wave, Nan. Bye. Wave. Bye. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> Oh, oh, bless.